Hi guys, my name is Becca and I'm the manager of Gallery Activities at Cincinnati Museum Center. Today we're going to be playing with an unexpected object, the sun! This yellow dwarf star is mostly made of hydrogen and helium, although it's an estimated 93 million miles away, or one astronomical unit if you're using uh, the measurement system for solar system distances, uh, it takes about 8 minutes for light from the sun to reach us here. And it may not seem that big when you compare it to other stars in our entire galaxy, but around 1,300,000 Earths could fit inside of it. For today's activity, we're going to make a homemade sundial. Uh, the main thing that you need for it is already provided by Mother Nature, the sun. So let's head outside and get started. While we're waiting on the weather to decide to cooperate, let's go over some safety. You never want to look directly at the sun. Beside your eyes, you also don't want to look at it through an unfiltered camera, a telescope, or binoculars. Our sundial, by recording the positions, is one of the safe and fun ways that you can make observations. In addition to a sunny day, you will also need some kind of marker, like a tree or a stick, and a few small pieces to mark the different times. I'm going to use a dowel rod with Play-Doh to keep it in place. Each hour, rocks will be used to record the positions of the sun by marking where the shadow is. This morning, the shadow is pointing west because the sun rose in the east. At noon, it's pointing north. Finally, as the sun sets in the west, the shadow would point east, but I lost it due to tree coverage. That would make this direction south. While it may seem like the sun is moving east to west, it's the Earth that is revolving around the Sun while spinning on its axis. The spinning is what will help us keep track of the time. We're very lucky here in Cincinnati to have so many places to teach us about the sky. Uh, in addition to the Neil Armstrong Space Exploration Gallery at Cincinnati Museum Center, we also have the Cincinnati Astronomical Society. Uh, dedicated in 1843, the Cincinnati Observatory is known as the birthplace of American astronomy. So if you want to continue learning, these are all great places to start. If you want to take this experiment one step farther, make sure you save your results and you can repeat it uh, in a different season. Do you think you'll get the same results in June and December? For an early childhood spin, playing with shadows is a great way to stimulate a baby's vision. This can be done by getting creative with shadow puppets or pointing out shadows on objects outside. When I was little, we would play shadow tag where instead of trying to tag each other, we aimed for each other's shadows. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that it was worth the rain because at this point I'm kind of uh, figuring that that was all my fault, so sorry guys. Uh, for more activities and lesson plans, make sure you follow us at cincymuseum.org as well as on social media. My team and I look forward to seeing you when Cincinnati Museum Center reopens. I'll see you next time.